Hi, I'm Sarah with Core Motion Fitness. Thanks for joining me today for a 30 minute core workout. Today's core workout is going to involve four different blocks of work. We're gonna focus on isometric, dynamic, rotational, and balance training. Let's go ahead and get warmed up. We're gonna begin with some gentle squats, so go ahead and touch the ground, and then arms up in a big Y stretch, opening through the chest. Again, squat down and open up wide. So we're really just stretching out through that abdominal region, opening up the body, engaging your back. Our core involves not only just our abdominals, but all the muscles around our spine that support our body and keep us upright. Good job. Go ahead and do one more. Good, and bring both feet narrow. We're gonna take both arms to one side and rotate up and over to the opposite shoulder. So nice, slow rotational movement. And let's try two more. And switch to the other side. So rotate to one side up and over just waking up through the midsection finding some rotation today and you've got two more good and we will start that from the beginning once again with our squat reach so squat nice and deep open the arms wide and again functional warm-up this morning to get you going and you've got two more Good. And with our feet a little bit wider, we're gonna go back to that rotation. So soften the knees, take the arms up, and go ahead and lift your heel as you rotate up to the side. So just getting a little more work for the hips here. And two more. Good job. And last one, go ahead and switch to the other side again. Lift up onto the ball of the foot, heel comes off the ground. Let those arms just swing nice and heavy. And you've got two more. And release. Go ahead and come to the end of your mat. <clears throat> we are gonna hinge at the hips, flat back, and then let our hands hang down, rounding through the spine. And come back to a flat back. And once again, round the spine. And one more, flat back, hold here. From here, we're gonna walk out into an inchworm. So walk your hands all the way out to the end of the mat. Hold in a plank position. Take your feet and walk them up to your hands and stand right here for a moment. And then walk your feet back into a plank position. And now walk your hands into your feet. So a full inchworm here. Bend both knees and roll yourself up. Let's try that again. So hinge, walk the hands out. Stay in your plank position and then walk your feet into your hands. Good, stay. Walk the feet back and walk your hands to your feet. Bend both knees and roll it on up. Let's try that one more time. Just such a great warm up exercise, whether it's for a core workout or a boot camp workout. Walk your feet to your hands and then walk them back and hands to the feet. And bend both knees and roll it all the way up. All right, take your feet wide. Arms open to the side and reach down a slow windmill, feeling those inner thighs stretch. Again, working through some rotation here. Good job. And let's go ahead and do one more on each side. And last one here. All right, we're gonna go back to that inchworm again. So come to the end of your mat and hinge at the hips and walk yourself out into a plank and your feet walk to your hands. Stay here for a moment and walk them back and hands to feet. Good, bend both knees, roll it on up again. So this workout, all you need is a mat and your own body weight, okay? We're not using any added weight today. If after you go through this workout one time, and you want to add a weight to some of the movements, that would be great. It'd be a nice way to add intensity <clears throat> and bring the feet to the hands. And one last time, walk it back out and hands to the feet. Good, bend both knees and roll it on up. We'll finish up with those windmills just a little bit faster this time. Arms open wide and we reach and up. Good, making sure you're squeezing your glutes as you rise back up to the top of this movement. 
Nice job. And let's go ahead and do one more on each side. <clears throat> Very good. And release. Good. Walk your feet in. Roll your shoulders up back and around. All right. We are going to start with isometric training today. So um, that means that we are going to move through these exercises without a lot of movement in the joints. Okay. So plank position as our first exercise. So we're going to come down to our knees. We have 30 second intervals of work. We're going to repeat all of our isometric exercises twice. So you'll really get a feel for them. Um, so first exercise is your plank. You can start your plank on your knees or you can go to your toes. Plank can also be done on the elbows if you prefer. And again, knees or toes. So I'm going to start the timer. We've got 30 seconds. Our focus is drawing the abdominals and really supporting the spine with a strong core. So let's begin our interval. Ready? And here we go. Again, your choice, which position you'd like to be in for your plank. Just hold it nice and steady here. Your eyes are looking right out down toward the end of your mat and your shoulders are right over your wrists. Now think about every time you exhale, drawing the abdominals in tighter, bracing as if you were about to be punched in the gut and you're holding in tight. You've got three, two, one and rock back. Stretch it out. Good job. We are going to do that one more time. So take a nice stretch here and then come back into position. Maybe you want to change it up. I'm going to try it on my elbows. Begin again. So hold right here. Now notice with plank that it's really easy to sway the back. So to prevent that, tuck your hips slightly, press away from the ground and feel a nice flattening between your shoulder blades. And at any time, the knee option is great so that you can stay in perfect form. We've only got five seconds left here with this plank and we will check it off the list in three, two, one, and release. Rock back. You take a nice stretch. Next exercise is a side plank. So we are going to go to our right side. So knee plank is the option or you can go all the way to your toes. So stay here. The time began just about two seconds ago. So reach up nice and high. Great job. Hips are stacked. Sometimes we rotate back like this. We want our belly button pointing in the direction that we're looking. So go ahead and hold right there. You're halfway through. Come on. Now, of course, we have side plank on both sides. So we'll flip end to end here in just a moment to target that opposite side as well. Ready? Time is up right now. Go ahead and flip end to end. And let's repeat on the other side. Again, option for knee plank looks like that and begin. Great work. So again, lifting up through those lower obliques, stretching through the chest as you open that arm nice and tall and hold. Great work. Again, every time you exhale, draw deep into the abdominals. Almost there. You've got three seconds left. Two and one. Go ahead and release the hips to the mat and flip end to end once again. And here we go. Working the other side. Again, if you're feeling a little tired already, please feel free to modify. And let's begin right here. Up we go. Now to make this more challenging on the second time through, if you'd like to, you can lift your top leg. Yeah, go into a star side plank. Love it. Not for everybody, so it's no problem if you need to keep both feet on the ground. Almost there, we've got 10 seconds left on this side. Great work. Remember, every time you exhale, draw the abdominals in deep and release. Go ahead and switch, end to end, and here we go. Remember the option, knee or toes, and begin. Take that option if you'd like to lift the leg off of the ground. Stay lifted through the hips if you are choosing that option. Great job. Good news, only 10 seconds to go. So stay with it just a little bit longer. Good job, you've got five seconds. And three, two, one, and release. Good work, all right. Shake out those arms. Pause that timer for just a minute. Coming up next, <clears throat> we are gonna be on our backs in what's called a dead bug. So it looks like this. 
knees are at 90 degrees, low back, pressing down toward the mat, hands on our thighs, and we're pressing our hands against our thighs as our thighs, our knees are pressing back against our hands. So it's a really great mind-body connection to the abdominals to squeeze and pull down, all right? So dead bug, ready, set, and head is on the ground for this one. You wanna have a nice relaxed neck and begin right here. Good, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. It's kind of like a plank on your back, all right? It's that same kind of feeling. And every time you're exhaling, you're drawing the back to the mat. Good, now maybe try to straighten out your arms. Okay, straighten them out, continue to push. You may feel a little shaking at this point, which is great. That means you are activating your abdominals. Keep going and done. Rest for just a moment, okay? Stay here. We're gonna go back to that dead bug one more time. Now I've got a challenge for you if you'd like it. We're gonna do an oblique dead bug. So that means that we're gonna press to the inside of our right knee. So go ahead and do that now. Left foot can be on the ground or it can be extended. So hold here. We'll do 15 seconds on each side. It's just a little more challenging. That cross body action here. And switch to the other leg. Okay, so press on the inside of the knee. Your knee is pressing back against your hand. Keep holding, keep holding. Almost there, and time is up. Good. All right, flip it over onto your hands and knees. This is your watchdog, sometimes called a quadruped. Knees are under hips, and we're gonna pull our abdominals in. We're gonna lift our knees off our mat and rock our body forward. Time started, so begin right now. <clears throat> If you needed to, you could bring this down to your elbows. Okay, your butt will be a little bit in the air. But I prefer if you can do it on your hands and just hold here with a nice 90 degree angle at knees and hips. Good job, you've got five seconds left. Now, not only do you feel this in your abdominals, but also in through your quads and time is up. Rock back, stretch it out. Maybe rotate those wrists around, give them a little break. And let's try it again. Up onto all fours, tuck the toes, engage the core, pull into the back, and begin. Now, we don't want to be so rounded here. We have a slight natural arch of the low back, but through our mid-back, we are strong and straight. Great job. Love this exercise. Such a challenge to hold our own body weight up off the ground. You've got five seconds left. Let's go for it. And time is up. Go ahead and rest for just a moment. Nice job. Shake it all out. Roll your shoulders up, back, and around. Okay, we're going to move on to rotation next. So we've got a standing wood chopper. So let's come to our feet. We practiced that wood chopper a little bit in the warm up, but now we're going to add a little more force. Okay, so it looks like this hands clasped together, feet are hip distance. We're going to go to the side, okay, and quick up to the top and then slow back down, okay. So 30 seconds on the clock. We're gonna switch halfway through and ready, set, and begin. So to the side, quick to the top and slow back down. Quick up, so you are pivoting on the ball of your foot, thrusting those hips up and over. And one more time on this side and get ready and switch to the other side. So over we go and up. Good. Exhale on the way up. A little bit of power there. Great work. And last one and release. All right, shake it out. We're gonna do that all over again. 30 seconds for both sides total, okay? So feet hip distance, maybe you wanna sink a little deeper into that squat and begin. Quick up. Now it's very important that you lift your heel as you're rotating quickly like this to protect your low back, okay? And one more and switch to the other side, bring it across your body and all the way up. Now this is a great exercise if you wanted to do it again with some weights, okay? Or a dumbbell, a kettlebell, and one more time and done, shake it out, all right. So we're into our rotations. <clears throat> we're gonna move next into a lunge rainbow press. So 
We're gonna be in a lunge position. Hands are right in front of us, up and over the head, and then lunge down. So pivoting on your feet and lunge. Good, the first time through, we're just gonna get the motion. Then we're gonna add a little bit more exertion. Good job. So when you are moving, your toes are all lining up in the same direction. So we'll keep those knees safe. And one more time and release. Okay, next time through, a little more effort. So here's what it looks like. We're gonna come up and over and chop. Up and over and chop. Begin now. Up and over and chop. So bring, like you have a big sword in your hands, okay? And you're just chopping it down in front of you. Again, this exercise, great to add a little bit more resistance to. If it feels okay on your shoulders, come on, exhale. Every time you bring your hands down, it's like a crunch for the abdominals. And one more time and done. Shake it out. Whew. All right, great job through that rotation. We're gonna come down to the ground and work some plank rotations next. So <clears throat> elbows on the ground, toes on the ground. We're gonna rotate to one side back through the center and switch to the other side. Go ahead and begin right now. Modification, okay, is to go into one knee with the top leg straight. So either one is fine, <clears throat> as long as your hips are stacking on top of each other every time you rotate. Great work. And one more. And we are done with that set, rock back and get ready, we'll do it one more time. <clears throat> All right, ready position and go. It's slow and steady. Another great thing to think about with this rotational movement is squeezing your shoulder blades together, opening the chest every time you move to your side. Great work, we are almost there. Time for one more. And release and done. All right, take a quick pause here. Stretch it out. <clears throat> we are moving on to balance. So balance training is our last piece of work today. Um, let's go ahead and come to our feet. Airplane poses first. So on or off your mat, your choice. But if you've got a soft surface, I'd recommend moving to a harder surface. So airplane looks like this. We're gonna hinge at the hips, okay? Flat back, arms out to the side, and then both arms are gonna reach up over our shoulders. So we will work 30 seconds on each side just because I really want you to focus on moving slowly and controlled through this position. <clears throat> so we are gonna start in just a moment. So feet underneath the hips, arms move out to the side, ready, begin. So hinge at the hips, flat back, and then bring it all the way up. I'm gonna show you a modification. You can tap to the back, keeping your back flat, and then you can just tap right to the ground if you prefer. Or any variation in between is wonderful. Good. Trying not to touch the ground as you progress with this exercise. And I think we can get one more in right here. And all the way up. And release, good. We're gonna switch to the other leg, so. Moving in, in three, two, one, let's begin. Flat back, squeeze your shoulder blades together, and then up, up, up we go. Balance training, one of my favorite ways to train the core, <clears throat> something we use every day, and if we don't train it, we lose it. So, very important to add it into your workouts every single time. Almost there, we've got just five seconds left. Enough for one more. Oh and all the way back up and hold. Good, switch to the other side. Same thing, other side. Now if you wanna work harder, bend your standing knee just a little bit more. Here we go in three, two, one. So bend that standing knee more and then drive it up. Good. Now think about your toes, they're like suction cups. They should be gripping the ground. Sometimes people feel a little bit of um, tightness or cramping in the bottoms of their feet if they're not used to doing balance work. 
because the bottom of the foot actually doesn't get worked as often as we think it does. So if you're feeling that, it's completely normal. And release, good. We'll switch to the other side. And three, two, one, and begin. Flat back, good. Make sure your big toe is connected to the ground. The other reason I love doing these single leg balance work is that it really causes us to notice our strengths and weaknesses on each side of the body so that we can work those to be a little more balanced. Great work, almost there. You've just got about six seconds left. Enough for one more and bring it all the way up and release. Good job, shake out those legs. All right, let's pause that timer for just a minute going into the next move. We are gonna go um, into a downward facing dog. So come to the end of your mat <clears throat> and downward facing dog. All we're gonna do is lift our right leg off the ground and bring it in to our chest and then extend. So begin right here. Like I mentioned before, core work is not only abdominals. We also need to strengthen our glutes. Now, a great way to modify this movement is to come to the knee, okay, and stretch your leg back. It's a little less intense if that feels better for you. And one more. Good. Take the foot down, bring your knees to the mat, rock back into a child's pose, maybe even lift the hands, give them a quick shake out. And let's begin on the other side. Toes to the ground, lift your hips and stretch that leg nice and tall. Bring your knee in and exhale up. Really taking your time through these balance exercises. And great work guys, we've just got enough time for one more, so bring the knee in nice and tight, extend back, and release down to the ground. Rock back and stretch. Once again, we're gonna repeat one more time on each side. So, get ready to go. Tuck your toes, <clears throat> lift your hips, rock back, and lift one leg. Now, a little challenge if you'd like to, is to come up with a bent knee. So as you lift your leg up and back, bend the knee, think about driving your heel up to the ceiling or up to the sky. So as you do this, you're also going to start engaging your hamstrings along with your glutes. And one more time and release, rock it back. And we'll try that other side. All right, get back into ready position. Again, the option here is right here. Okay, on in the quadruped position, go ahead and begin now. You can just stay right here, a little more gentle. Otherwise, flex the foot and drive it up. Good, take your time here. There's no need to work fast through these movements. And we've got time for one more. So hug that knee in tight and extend and release. Good job. All right, rock back. We're gonna come back to our feet. Give our arms a little bit of a break as we move into a star crunch, a standing star crunch. <clears throat> so our right leg is gonna be lifted off to the side while our left arm is also lifted. So star pose looks like this. <clears throat> so if you'd like to hold both arms up, you can, or you can have the other one somewhere off to the side. We're gonna bring our hand to our knee and then reach it back out. If you can reach to your ankle and keep balance, even better. All right, so since this is a slow and controlled movement, we've got 30 seconds on each side. So here we go. Extend nice and long and bring it to the knee, calf, foot, wherever you can reach. Great job. And if you wanted a little bit more of a challenge, right here, keeping the other arm up in the air. Now this move is very common that we kind of crunch forward like this in order to reach our leg. But please try to keep your chest lifted and really moving your limbs toward the midline and getting a quick touch and release. Good, shake out those legs. 
and we will try the other side. So again, find that standing balance, lift the left leg to the side, right arm out, and begin. Good job. You can even add a little bit extra lean here if you'd like to, reaching off to the side. Notice those obliques are working as we are reaching. Great job. Keep it coming. Just five seconds more. Ah, and extend and hold. Great job. We're going to do it one more time on each side. So <clears throat> roll your shoulders. This is our very last exercise for this core workout. So get ready to go. Right leg lifted, left arm lifted, and begin. Reach. So maybe you'd like to reach a little further down on the foot to make it more challenging. Good, and you can do this one with a light weight if you wanted to. If you wanted to repeat this workout, put a light weight in your hand, okay, or maybe in both hands to give an added challenge here. Good, and done. Shake it out. And we'll get ready to do that other side. So lift the leg up and extend your arm and maybe the other arm is off to the side somewhere. Ready? Let's begin right here. Cross the body and extend. Remember what I said, a little more reaching makes it more challenging. Doing wonderful. Good, we've only got 15 seconds left and then we're gonna stretch out and you'll be done with this 30 minute core workout. And let's try one more. Great job and release. Good job. Okay, so stretching everything out. It's always good to release those muscles after we've worked them hard. So take your right leg behind and right leg up or right arm up and over. Oh, circle it all the way down. Get both hands up at the top and lift up and back. And release. Take your left foot behind. Left arm comes up and over. Circle it all the way down. Both hands meet in the bottom. Bring it on up. And again, squeeze your glutes, lift up and back. Great work. All right, take it into a forward fold. So hinge at the hips, flat back here. And just like we warmed up in the beginning, let your head hang right between your biceps. And walk your hands back up to your thighs, flatten out through your back. You're working on spinal extension here. In fact, reach your hands to me. Good, elbows pull right back to the ribs. And one more time. And pull, good, and roll it all the way up. And release, good. Couple rotations side to side. Let your arms just wrap around your body. And go ahead and hug your arms all the way around your body. Look to your back shoulder. And switch to the other side, wrap them around. And unwind through the middle. Shoulders come up back and around. And you are on your way. Thank you so much for joining me today for this 30 minute core workout. And I will see you next time.